Hey everybody, I hope you all enjoyed that time lapse video. It took me quite a bit to go through all these cards. I think it was about 2,700 cards in total because there was about 300 pages and uh, there was a bunch of cards just to be flipping through. So uh, time lapse was a lot of fun to make, it took me a lot of time. And there were some pretty cool cards that I pulled out that I wanted to show really quick. I'll just go through this stack right here on the left. These are all tops cards. And I got a lot of space on here. Too many cards on the screen, okay. It's got a nice Carlton Fisk here of 1978 tops. I was pretty excited about that one, as well as the Thurman Munson 79 tops. Two solid cards to get. Craig Biggio rookie, 89 tops. Sammy Sosa rookie, 90 tops. So most of these cards are not high end cards, not super valuable. There's one super valuable card over here, which I'll get to last. But see, most of these cards are just low end inserts and uh, junk wax cards, not too valuable. Uh, here's a 91 Tops Don Mattingly. This is actually an error card. Um, on the back here, you can see it. The slugging percentage, his total slugging percentage is 0.483. The actual is supposed to be like 0 0.5, 0 0.5 something. There's also a few other stats on here that are wrong. So this is one of the error cards of the 91 set, and it's of Don Mattingly. Um, here's a Tops Black and Gold from 1993 or 2. 93, yeah. Had to think for that. This is Mark McGuire. And here's a 94 Stadium Club, Mark McGuire. There's lots of Mark McGuire's and Mattingly's um, <clears throat> in a lot of these pages. Here's a 94 Stadium Club. This is actually a parallel of Don Mattingly. It's the rainbow gold foil at the, the bottom. You can see that. And then uh, here's a Mark McGuire. I think this is a 95 Stadium Club. Uh, oh, 96. My bad. This is a 96 Stadium Club. I opened up a hobby box of this on my channel a couple months ago. A lot of fun. Uh, here's a Sammy Sosa home run parade. This is home run 56. This is part of the 2000 Tops set. And they detailed out the home run race between Sosa and McGuire. And uh, each of them, they both have like uh, a run through of each home run they had that season. So uh, this was Sammy Sosa's 56. I guess it had some value to it, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, here's another Sammy Sosa. It's a Tops Chrome from 2000. And here's a 2001 Tops Jake Peavy rookie card. So uh, there's obviously a lot better rookies that can come from 2001 Tops. Ichiro, Encarnacion, Pujols, but Jake Peavy rookie. Uh, here's a Tsuyoshi Shinjo Tops Chrome rookie. Not a super valuable rookie, but kind of cool. Uh, here's an insert from 01 Tops Noteworthy Roberto Clemente. Uh, another low-end insert. This is the uh, what could have been top set. Kind of cool. Uh, 2002 Stadium Club. Another low-end insert there. Here's 06. Looks like a, a Walmart insert. It's a reprint of Mattingly. Here's uh, 2010 Tops Alkaline Peak Performers. Here's a Chrome Refractor of David Wright from 2011. Here's a 2011 60 Years of Tops. Opened up a hobby box of this, not on my channel, just kind of off to the side. And a ton of these cards come in it. It's a pretty cool insert set though. Some nice reprints of it. There's a Ristremski from the 75 Tops design. Here's just a bunch of 2012 uh, low-end inserts. Ty Cobb, Hank Aaron, Nolan Ryan, Mike Schmidt. Um, these are all from 2012. The whole theme of the 2012 set was like gold standard, golden moments, and golden greats, and all that stuff. Uh, kind of cool. Some cool cards came out. Here's a Ted Williams from 2015, highlight of the year, and also from 2015, archetypes of Ty Cobb. So mostly just older players that they're kind of commemorating. Uh, changing of the guard, this is of Kyle Schwarber. That's his rookie year, actually, 2016. So that's a cool insert to hang on to. Uh, and here's Chris Bryant, second year card, changing of the guard. And some more uh, low-end inserts, 2016, Hank Aaron, Alan Craig, walk-off wins, Big Poppy, walk-off wins, Hank Aaron, another walk-off wins, Luis Gonzalez, and then Ted Williams, walk-off wins. So those are all the tops cards. Two more stacks of top loaders, and then I'll get to the uh, the one touch there. You can kind of make out the face, I just realized that. 
But uh, I think these are all upper deck cards for the most part. This is a really cool one. Randy Johnson rookie card, 1989 upper deck. 89 upper deck is a stellar set. Of course, it was the first year upper deck came into business. They made some of the best cards at the time. And Randy Johnson's rookie happened to be that year, along with Ken Griffey's. So I love Randy Johnson. He's one of my favorite pitchers. So I was super excited to get this card. One of my favorites in the slot. Also from 89, there's a ton of cards from the 89 uh, set here. That was in those pages. Uh, a couple of Don Mattingly's. Uh, Nolan Ryan throwing a football. I've always thought that was a really cool card. And then I think there was like a bunch of these. These are all base Nolan Ryan cards. Uh, this is actually, I think it's a 180 point top loader. But there's six of these cards in there. I didn't want to use all my regular top loaders for that one card. But I have nine total of the base Nolan Ryan cards from 89 Upper Deck. Um, this is a cool insert set. I have a few of these. This is a Then and Now from 1993 Upper Deck. This is of Don Mattingly. It's a cool set to put together. Um, I think early 90s inserts from Upper Deck have been really cool. Like this one right here, Ryan Sandberg, Home Run Heroes. They're really simple. They're labeled pretty easy. They're pretty small sets. And they're all of great players for the most part. Here's a 94 Upper Deck, Mattingly Base. Again, lots of Mattingly's, lots of McGuire's. Here's a 95 SP, or sorry, 94 SP, Mark McGuire. Those early SPs are awesome. Uh, here's a Nomar, so this is Upper Deck Miners. This isn't the base set, it's the Miners set. This is of Nomar Garcia. And then a few more Nomars, top prospect cards from 95. Cool ones to have. <laughs> this, this is a cool insert. I think it's the coolest insert um, from all the pages here. It's called the Big Shots from Upper Deck Collector's Choice. Mike Piazza from 97. He's got a lot of swag to him. I like that card. Um, here's another cool insert. This is from Holographics. Uh, it's a pretty cool set. This is like the star view insert this is of Mike Piazza. It's a good looking card. Um, textbook Excellence, 1999 Upper Deck, Sammy Sosa. And then <clears throat> we have a Ultimate Victory Parallel. So Sammy Sosa again. It's like the... It's not the blue parallel. They call it something else. I don't know. It was They called it really weird. I couldn't really follow it, but... I'm just going to call it the blue parallel. Looks cool. Uh, here's another Sammy Sosa. This is a silver signature parallel from Upper Deck MVP 2000. And here's a, another card that I really enjoyed pulling. This was the Hall of Fame Gallery insert of Satchel Page. Another good looking card from a cool set. Um, this is a serial number card, Juan Diaz out of 2500 from UD Reserve. Uh, big Fly Zone, Sammy Sosa. Another cool one. A lot of Sammy Sosas in this one. Didn't realize that. Uh, this one's numbered out of seven ninety nine, dollars Justin Leone, Sweet Beginnings. That's from Sweet Spot. Sweet Spot's another cool set Upper Deck made. Uh, here's a Cole Hamels Rookie. It's just from 2006 base set. This is a massive set. This is card num number 946. I think it went up to like 1,100 cards in that set. It's a huge base set, but uh, Cole Hamels rookie. And here's an all-time legends, Christy Mathewson and Babe Ruth. Some low-end inserts. Uh, Troy Tolowitzki, UD Masterpieces, rookie card from 07. And then lastly, Yankee Stadium Legacy, Don Mattingly, Roger Clemens. This is another massive set. I think it has like 6,000 plus cards. Like, this is card number 6,273. This is a ridiculously huge set. But, uh, hey, kind of cool. Two good players came out of it. And I'll start working on this last stack of cards, which are just kind of everything mixed together, all sorts of brands and stuff. But still some cool stuff. So, uh, Roberto Alomar rookies, 88 Donruss. Um, 88 Donruss is like a really junky set. <laughs> I, I hate the borders on these, but um, I seem to pull a million of these Roberto Alomar rookies. Kind of cool, though. Um, here's a 90 Fleer Mattingly insert, League Standouts. Uh, 91 Donruss, Ivan Rodriguez rookie from the Rookies set. 
Very, very cool. Uh, Raphael Palmero, team leaders. So these early 90s Fleer inserts uh, have some have a good amount of value to them, even though they're part of the junk wax era. Um, they're pretty tough to pull. So this team leader set has some really cool cards in it. This is a Raphael Palmero. Um, 92 Donruss, the rookies set. This is Tim Wakefield, two of his rookies. And then 92 score, Manny Ramirez rookie. Uh, this one was really cool. This is a 1991 Impel line drive. Triple A card of Mike Mussina. So recently inducted in the Hall of Fame. Very cool card. Pretty excited about that one. <clears throat> Here's a 93 score, Mike Piazza, rookie prospect. And then 93 studio, Mike Piazza. Uh, here's one of those, again, this is from Donruss, but it's a pretty valuable insert set to collect. I think Beckett had this card listed at like $15. So very cool. It's from 1994, his MVP card. Here's another 94 uh, Mattingly. Oh, I did accidentally put it in a rookie, rookie card top loader. Just noticed that. I'll have to fix that later. I set that one aside. <laughs> Made that mistake. Uh, 94 Bowman, base card. Uh, this is a parallel of Jeff Bagwell. This is 95 Pinnacle. It's a, it's a subset, Swingmen, but it's like a museum collection parallel because he's got like a cool wave feature to it. Very cool parallel. Uh, this one is really cool. Pretty unique card. So it's from Hallmark. And uh, it's of Hank Aaron. It's like one of their ornaments that they make. I guess they made an ornament each year for a couple years. And this one was made in 1996, and it's of Hank Aaron. So, very cool card. Um, this is a black parallel from Fleer Futures 2001. Number out of 499, Julio Lugo. Pretty young Julio from 2001. Here is a Adam Dunn. Adam Dunn's got a crazy career. If you ever look up some of his stats... Some of his feats that he's been able to pull off. Uh, this is a Rising Stars insert from Fleer Ultra 2002. Fleer Ultra was an awesome, awesome set that they made. Um, this is Fleer Premium, Rafael Palmero, International Pride. Cool insert set. And here's 2003 Donruss Diamond Kings, Adam Dunn, Sammy Sosa. Those are some pretty tough pulls. Uh, here's a rookie card, Matt Cain, 2006, Fleer Tradition. Wasn't a fan of this set too much, but there's some good rookies in it. Um, here is a gold parallel, Greg Maddox, 2006 Fleer Ultra. And I think these are all from 2006, yeah. These are all 2006, like lower end inserts from Fleer Ultra. Uh, Diamond Producers, Manny Ramirez. Strikeout Kings, Randy Johnson. Home Run Kings, Manny Ramirez. All from 2006 Ultra, and... Got three more cards. Justice Sheffields. This is from 2015 Panini um, USA Baseball Stars and Stripes. It's like the Blue Crusade. Pretty cool. And then here's a, another. This is from the Blue Crusade set as well. This one's numbered to 99. This is the, I think this is a gold parallel. Or oh, I'm not too sure. Addison Russell, though. At 99. And lastly, got Diamond Kings. Past and present insert, Nolan Ryan and Justin Verlander. So those are all the somewhat more valuable cards I just decided to throw into top loaders. Um, another little stack here. I put this in the top loader, Bob Feller. Not as valuable, but Bob Feller is my favorite player. So every time I see a Feller card, I'll just throw it in a top loader. Kind of set it aside for myself. Uh, a few other cards I thought were kind of cool. Uh, these are 52 Tops reprints from 2002. They were commemorating the... 1952 World Series and the 1952 top set, so they reprinted it with the gold foil on it. Pretty cool insert set to complete. And lastly, here's the card I decided to put into a one-touch. This is of Miguel Cabrera, 2001 Royal Rookies Future card. So his tops rookie is the 2000 tops update. This card was put out in 2001. So it's a very young Miguel Cabrera. And um, Beckett had this card listed at a pretty valuable price. So decided to look more into it. Seems like it's a very cool card. Decided to stick it into a uh, one-touch here. Pretty cool to pull something like this. Pretty unique. 
pretty excited about it. And as you can see in the back, all of the um, different common cards, a big stack of them there. A big chunk of them are from 1990 tops. I'd say about the last 30% of all the pages, if you look back at the time lapse, were all 1990 tops. So most of those are just junk. A lot of these cards are just junk wax, but uh, it'll be good for completing sets, so I can't complain. That's what I like to do. But uh, yeah, that will conclude the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys did, go ahead and like and subscribe for more videos to come your way. And I'll see you guys next time.